Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Sims 2 Nostalgia. So today is the fifth episode of my Rex to Ridges challenge. And as you can see here in the Sims 2 with M, it's just a chaotic but blissful life that she's living. So inside all is peace and quiet and outside is just one big dog of chaos. So as you can see, See, she is still making money of just, you know, digging up stuff from the garden. So now she has found two maps and a rock. So that will be at least, so the two maps are 400 simoleons each. So we have at least 800 and something simoleons by now. So that's, you know, she wouldn't even be able to make that on a regular day job. At least not in the starter level. So. This is actually quite good. So it's a bit annoying that she keeps hitting water pipes, but I guess that's just, you know, randomized. I can't really tell because it seems like if you keep digging in the same hole for too long, you will definitely uh, hit one of those pipes, but it seems random, so I'm not really sure. But as you can see, she has a small house here. We still have no paint on the walls, so we will have to do some building at some point. She has 5,000 simoleons, so it's actually quite nice. We will be able to do some house flipping at some point. So anything goes at this point. She can survive, the garden is a mess, but she's happy and it's, it's peaceful. It is a bit of a lonely life though, because if M were, were to have a job, she would probably meet some, you know, some co-workers, she would bring home friends, or at least have time to, to meet and greet neighbors. So at this point, I'm not really sure how many people she knows actually. Uh, well, it doesn't matter really, but it is a lonely life and her social uh, need is constantly dropping. At this point, it's quite good, but it is constantly dropping and it's just you know, half good when she has that, you know, social bunny thing coming along. But it's not a happy life, but she's surviving. That's more to say of, of Jennifer. So she has a job, so let's just see her off. And even though she has a job, in The Sims 1, the Simmers, or at least I think, I seem to remember that they didn't bring home co-workers, but actually now that I'm saying it, I'm pretty sure they could do it. So, you know, just forget that I said that, but as you can see, yeah, sorry, as you can see, Jennifer still can't afford anything, and this is a cupboard, it's not a fridge, so even though she would be able to afford it, she can't really use it, because, you know, it's just a storage place for those crops that you can grow yourself, it doesn't really make sense. I remember when I played The Sims, um, you know, <laughs> for fun. I, uh, I used to think that it was actually a refrigerator, the cupboard, so I used to walk by it and then be surprised and annoyed when my sim would die of hunger. But now she's fast asleep on the floor again. So as you can see, I just bought a barbecue because a grill is really an easy way to have food. So this is a huge upgrade for, for Jennifer. It cost me, I think it was 20 simoleons to make the hamburgers, and there is a couple of plates here. So by now she has had three plates, and it seems like there's still more to come. So I might actually be able to satisfy her entire hunger need with just this grill. So this is actually a huge breakthrough. So it's also nice to know that you don't really need a refrigerator in the Sims 1 because all the food will just pop up, you'll just get it, buy it, on the spot. But as you can see, M is just, uh, well, I was just about to say she's still sleeping, but she just woke up. And I think it's time to do some house flipping now. So we can do an entire new room, I think we should do a, you know, kitchen, dining room area, just combined. Um, so let's see. 
I'll just reuse use as much as uh, as I can with the kitchen furniture, um, and then delete the rest to to get those money as well. And we'll need some flooring in here. It's just, um, yeah, this wooden floor looks nice. And then let's have a bathroom. It seems most civilized to have two independent rooms and not just a bathroom in the middle of the kitchen, sleeping area, etc. So let's make a proper house out of this. I never really liked these greens color, green colors for the bathroom when I used to play, you know, when I used to play years ago. But it looks kind of nice now. It's it has this retro look, like a bathroom would look like that in the I don't know, forties, right? Thirties maybe. Okay, and she is getting some decorations as well, so it. So her environmental need will drop somewhat as well, because every time she's outside, it's just horrend you know, horrendously low. So let's help her out a bit here. Okay, so now she would actually have everything she needs. Uh, a mirror will do, because then we can also have her gain some skill points at some point. And then here back at Jennifer's, we are still using the barbecue to actually get that hunger need going. And then the job is really just such a slow way to earn money. And there's really no way around it. You can't earn money without a job in The Sims 1. So, yeah. I really understand why I always use the Rosebud cheat um, when I played for real because it's it's almost too slow to actually be a fun game if you have to do it the hard way. So I guess you just have to be patient and I'm not really sure if I'm too patient of a person so yeah let's just have her survive. Okay, so we have another huge upgrade here. We just bought her a sofa, so now she can actually nap and get that energy need uh, lower as well. So she should be able to satisfy, you know, the basic needs at this point. I would definitely do if she had a bathroom, you know, a toilet and a shower. But at this point, that's just not <laughs> possible. We have 74 simoleons, so I guess it will take some time before we can get there. And it's also just such a huge difference when we just uh, go to Em's house here because she has, you know, a proper home, she has furniture, she has three rooms, she has a roof over her head, if I remember to put it there, I think I did. But, you know, comparison to Jennifer's house or like leg off it's just you know it's really it's quite clear that there is a difference between how you were able to earn money in The Sims 1 and The Sims 2 but yeah maybe it is a bit unrealistic too because how, how many s things could you dig up in your garden I guess if I tried to just dig a hole in in whoever in someone's garden I would find, you know, maybe some broken pieces of different, you know, garden stuff and that would be more or less it. So, you know, the fact that she can make 25 simoleons on just a basic rug, it seems a bit hefty. So, yeah, it's probably a bit unrealistic.
We should definitely have her gain some cooking skills at some point because she is better than that overcooked pasta. Oh, and remember to put away the leftovers. Even though she is able to make money, we shouldn't really waste all those money on and overcooked pastas. But this is a proper life, so good for him. And again, the comparison is so funny. It's so, so sad that she's living here. She's woken up by her carpool from her nap in that cheap looking sofa. And there's just plates and old newspapers and, you know, ugh. So much stuff all over the place, and she is a sad person. So, let's see, we don't need this chair anymore, so we can just delete that. It doesn't really make sense now that she has this nice, nice sofa. And we still cannot afford anything from the bathroom section. So, that's a bit sad, but we'll be getting there slowly. Oh my god, we can actually have a small TV for her. So, let's see. Yes, that's perfect. So, if she actually would, would want to, to watch TV, she could get that fun, neat, quiet done. That's a huge upgrade as well, because now we have at least the hunger need taken care of, the comfort need taken care of, energy, fun, social comes and goes, the bladder takes care of itself at some point, so... It's actually not too bad now, so we could definitely use some walls, because the room meat is... Yeah, it's just all red all the time, because... Yeah, look at the house, it's hideous. And hygiene obviously could do as well, but... At this point, it's not too bad. Obviously, if we compare it to M house, it's bad, but all in all, it's not too bad. But I think that's it for today, so thank you for watching, and... Yeah, tune in for the next episode. I'm not really sure when I will stop this, but let's just keep it going for a little bit longer because I think it's quite funny to have the the two games uh, side by side, actually. So stay tuned for the next episode and thank you for watching.